Hello, I'm Beth McCormish. I'm the artist in residence at the Manta Hospital, and today's workshop is a visual arts workshop centred around the theme of identity. Language can be very limiting when we talk about identity. For example, we could say she is very shy or she is very confident. It's very polarised, there's no in between. But with art, we can discover the layers. Our identity is fluid. Our identity is made up of where we've been, where we are now and where we're going to go. Our identity is who we've been with, who we're with now and who we'd like to be with. It's interpersonal, it's interconnected and there's multiple layers. So grab a cup of tea and this workshop I will show you how we can explore our identity through visual art. So to start the workshop, you're going to need some paper, paper of a relatively good thickness. You're also going to need some paint. I'm using watercolours, but you could use poster paint. You need to take your paper and rip or tear. Now I say rip or tear, not cut them into rectangles, no bigger than an A6 postcard. I have about 20, 25 here. Once you've done that, you're going to divide the paper into three. Your past, your future, and your present. So, after you have your paper all ready and prepared, and your paintbrushes are ready and your colours ready, we now have to have a, a discussion really about colour and colour representation in artwork and colour representation for yourself. When I think of the colour green, I think of nurture and of growth. So if I was to think of my past, I think green would sit quite well as I'm growing up as a child in the countryside, um, also of exploring. When I think about red, I think of excitement, maybe risk, definitely a standout moment. Um, so it's a colour you want to use at vortex points or points, risk of good or bad. It's an exciting colour. It also can be a scary colour. The wonderful thing with watercolours, you can really make a murky colour. So you can work with the blues and the blacks together to get quite a, a an unclear period in your life or it could be quite a sad period in your life. When I think about yellows, again, depending on the tone of the yellow, it's, it's bright, it's leading you somewhere, it's shining a light somewhere. So you have your paper divided into the past, the present and the future. And the next phase really is to take a paintbrush and start thinking about what colours you would put on the, that paper to represent that period in your life. What's identifying? What's standing out? So I started with some rich greens. Quite a vibrant one which potentially could represent school and carefree. I've blended the purple and the green here, kind of looking at maybe uncertainty, you know, around adolescence and making decisions. Um, if there was a life event that was key when you were growing up, that had an effect on you, think about what colour it would represent. When I move into my present, a lot more risk was being taken. I was falling in love. I started a family, I moved from London to Belfast, and those colours become very dynamic. I started colouring the reds, the reds and the purples together. There are also large chunks where it's quite murky, and I'm sure we all have that, where 
know, you were just going along, you're seeing where you're going. And for me, that was just kind of blue, grey sky blue. And as I work through, when I think about where I want to be, I think the tones and the colour I will use, I kind of naturally look at the yellows, the bright blues, but potentially also a red there, because to get somewhere in the future usually is a bit of risk and a bit of adventure. So have some fun. Talk with others as you're doing it, or if not, it's, it's absolutely down to you. You can sit and work through it or chat and explain. But enjoy the colour. The small sheets of paper make it easy for you to fill it quickly. Set it somewhere to dry away from you. Because you want dry paper at the end of this. And be explorative. If that's a word. Have fun. You now have all your coloured paper, representing your past, your future and your present. Now bring them together. Take the top sheet and fold it in half. Tear down the middle create an opening. If you place it on top, you'll see the colour through. You're going to do this with each of the sheets. Gradually making the holes larger. Work your way through So each of the coloured paper can be seen and this is how we're going to build up our final piece of visual art. Your final piece will look a little bit like this.